Welcome. Today we're going to work on converting numbers from one base system into another. Specifically, we're going to be working with uh, base 10, base 2, base 8, and base 16. Now, a good starting point is understanding why we use base 10 and how base 10 actually works. So, the reason why we use base 10 is probably because we have 10 fingers. And the way it works is that you would have someone counting, and let's say, for instance, they have a whole bunch of things to count. Uh, they would probably count a whole bunch of things. Okay, so let's say have a whole bunch of lines here to count. Then what you would do is you would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's a group of 10. And then you'd run out of fingers. So what you would do then is you would make a notch over here. And then you could erase these guys. So let's actually just erase these guys. Because these guys have already been counted. Then what you would do is you'd continue on counting. So you'd say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here I would have 7. And here I'd have 1. Okay. The problem is that I can't just say 1 plus 7 to make 8. Because this 1 counts as 10 of these ones. So what we have here is a system of place values developing. This 1 actually means 1 times 10 right, plus 7, which would be not 8, but instead would be 17. All right. So given that that's how this system works, and what would happen is that eventually if we had, let's say, a whole bunch of these, these would all accumulate here, and then we'd have more than 10 of these here in this section. Then we'd have to make a new section over here, which would count for hundreds and so on and so forth. Okay. So let's take a number, uh, for instance. Let's take a number like uh, 345. Okay, so uh, 3. 300. 45. Yeah, I'm going to clean those up here in just a second. Okay, so 345. Now, this doesn't obviously mean 3 plus 4 plus 5, but instead, what it means is 3 times 100 plus. 4 times 10 plus 5 times 1. Okay, and then that together would equal 345. <coughs> okay. So there's a peculiar thing that a lot of people don't pick up on here. And what that is, is that this number here, this place value, is actually 10 to the power of 0. This one is 10 to the power of 1. And this one here, 10 to the power of 2. And it goes on and on and on. The reason why we call this base 10 is because the bases that we're using in the exponents are 10. And the exponents always start at 0 and move up by 1 every time. Now, a couple of key things to remember are that the base is whatever base you're working in. The exponents always start at 0 and move up uh, to the left. And the maximum number you can count in, in any particular place value, is 1 less than the base. All right, so let's clean this up and see how this would actually work. Now let's say, for instance, we're working in base 2. As before, the maximum number we'd be able to count to would be 1. So what we'd have is we'd have some numbers like this. Let's say 1, 0, 1, 1. And I'm just making these up here. 
Okay, so let's say we have a number such as this. And again, I will clean this up, make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so what we have here is we have a, a base two setup. So and let's say a two here, and what I'm gonna do is copy this two. And each place value represents some power of two. Okay, and as we saw before, we start at zero, one, two, three, four, and, and five. Okay, now if we look at this, what these do is uh, it might be helpful for us to convert these and do what um, their base 10 full values are. So this would be a one, two, four, and eight. 16 and the 32. Okay, so what this would mean then would be that this number, what this number is trying to say is 1 times 32 plus 16 times, oh sorry, 0 times 16 plus one times eight, plus four times two, or one times uh, four, plus zero times two, plus one times one. Okay. And then after that, what we would do is we would add up all of these values. Okay, so we would say we have 32 plus 8, which is 40, plus 4, which is 44, plus 1 is 45. So this number in base 2, 101101, is 45 in base 10. You see how, hopefully, you see how that works. We have base two, okay, so we have the bases going across, the exponents increase from zero to uh, five, in this case, and we go on and on. And here are what we multiply each base value by. It is exactly the same for every other base. All right, so let's talk about how to go um, back the other way. So here's how, if we had a base two, we could convert to base 10. Okay, so first of all, get rid of this. And these ones here. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I was starting with a certain number. Let's say a small number like 50. Uh, let's try 50. Uh, 50. Okay. What we would do is, first of all, we would want to start at the biggest value that we could find. And so this number would be 64 in this place value. Now, as we're going across, you would find that this place value 64 is too big to put a one in because this would mean one times 64, which would already be bigger than the number 53 that we're looking at. So it cannot be in this spot. So this is where our starting point is in 32. Okay, so what we would do is we put a one here. Okay, now one times 32 is 32, meaning that we have accounted for 32 of the 53. Okay, that leaves 21 numbers that we still have to account for. Now 16 can fit into 21, so we need to count one of those as well, meaning that we, now we have counted 16 of those. Okay, so now we have five left to account for. So eight is too big, so we say, well, we can't fit an eight in there. We can fit, fit a four in there though, Choose one left, and we can't fit a two there, and then a one. Okay, so there we have one, one, zero, one, zero, one.
is a binary number representing the number 53. And that's how we convert from base 10 to base 2 back and forth. All right, let's take a look at another example in a different base. So instead of working in base 2, let's go to base 8. Now, base 8 is a little more complicated, mainly because in base 2, we can only count up to 1. But in base 8, you can count up to 7, which makes things a little more complicated. But similarly, we have these are powers of 8. Now, I'm not going to use too many place values because otherwise the number is going to get really big and I won't be able to do the math in my head. Okay, so what we have is all the base 8s and, as you said before, the exponents. We start at 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so that leads us to know that we have, um, let's see, this is the 1 value, this is 8, this is 64, and this is 512. And you can see these numbers get big really fast. So it's better to keep the example small. And in my class anyways, when you're working on these, uh, you will get small numbers. Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Let's give an example of a number. So we might have a number like this. Um, let's say 1,032. Okay, so you have 1,032. Well, what does this mean? Okay, well, just as before, we have, this means 1 times 512 plus 0 times 64 plus 3 times 8 plus 2 times 1. And so this would be 512 plus 0 plus 24 plus 2. And that would be 528. So 538. 